Okay, uh, got a couple random questions here for you. Uh, one, this is just kind of an etiquette question, something we would uh, deal with on Call Them Out. When you visit someone, do you park in their driveway or in the street in front of their house? What is a better way to do it? Gosh, that's tricky. I would do on the street probably just because you don't want to block somebody in and usually their cars are in there and what if they have to leave or or, uh, the street is easier because then you can get out quicker because a lot of times if I'm at a party I'm planning my exit yeah it seems too comfortable a lot of times especially if you don't really know anybody to park in their driveway right I, I guess that's what it's for but even with the street thing, our house is so difficult like that because we use the driveway for the cars that we have. And then the street itself, if you park right behind the driveway of our neighbor, she doesn't like it because she backs out. She comes out quick and she can't see. And so she gets very nervous when a car is there. So she's like, please don't park on the street right there. So we have to, we're always having to adjust cars. At is that my the house. neighbor that I had words with? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, she's, she's mellowed out, Virginia. Well, still, good, because she was screaming at me, yeah. and that is not the way to approach me, because I scream back. Oh, I know. Old lady. Yeah. Nice. She's mellowed out. Virginia has really amped it up. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> well, how are you going to come swinging, cursing? That is not the way to approach anybody. No, it's not. No, it's not, but you might have it happen, uh, depending upon how you park. Now, the one thing that um, you got to watch out for, too, I know a lot of times people will park going in the wrong direction on a street. And we have one of those streets. Like I said, our neighbors care about where you park, what you park, and how you park. And they will let you know about it. And so we're often, I hate to do that when people come over. I'm like, hey, you can't park going the wrong direction. The neighbor down the street, she's going to write us up to the HOA, take photos. We have to pay a fine. Today's like the last day of crazy fun before school starts. Yeah. So Mags had a rager last night there was like all kinds of teens coming in and out of my house Uh when i went to go leave for work this morning i could barely get out of the driveway because these teens they're parked on the street yeah and they're blocking the driveway okay everything i I know my neighbors hate it oh yeah a lot of of these neighbors depending on what neighborhood you're in a lot of them just hate any extra traffic the older the neighbor the more they hate traffic yeah my my dad tells a story back when he lived in Pennsylvania. Cal, he he all he did was pull into some guy's driveway because he had a he, he made a wrong turn and was just trying to back out. The guy freaks out, runs out with a shotgun, starts screaming at my dad because he, he just pulled in his driveway. People get weird about their driveways, dog. Yeah, no, they do. In fact, I'll ask Suits what uh, most people think the uh, proper etiquette is for him to put up a KBJ TV poll here. When you visit somebody, do you park in their driveway or in the street in front of their house? Or you could just ask, do you park in the driveway, yes or no, or in the street? (laughs) See, in my neighborhood, like, all these kids that are sleeping over overnight, I wish they would have parked in the driveway and then put my car behind them because my HOA has a thing about parking on the street overnight. Right, exactly, yeah. And they make a big deal out of it, which, which I think is stupid and so antiquated. Like, who cares if there's a car on the street overnight? Like, how is that affecting any human in their house? But apparently it's... It does. Disrupting their lives. Some people get so bent on where people park their cars. It's absolutely crazy. I don't like I said, get it, it. it's probably the biggest drama on my street <laughs> every day. That's what we're talking about. Can you believe where they park? I, uh, growing up, it was never like that in New Orleans. Nobody cared where you parked. Like, this is a Florida thing. It's okay. not like this everywhere. Okay. Uh, right now, it is a quick uh, jump out for parking on the street is preferred 60 to 40%. If you want to jump into the poll, go to YouTube, look for the KVJ Show. Okay, another quick question here. You get an opportunity to become a god of one thing. What do you choose to be a god of? For me, I am going to choose either college football and probably that or baseball because in both of those things, I love sports, have or are my favorite sports that are there, but there's just some things that they're not quite doing right that I know the proper path on how to do it to make the sport better for the fans, for the players, for everyone involved. If I just could take over and I could be the God of it, just let me handle it. You're going to thank me later. I'm convinced. So you handle it. Yeah. 
uh, because they can't get out of their own way about making some rules. For college football has to do with the way conferences are aligned in the playoffs. And with baseball, it has to do with basically everything. But so you have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan that would make it so much better. Jaybird reminded me of how much I used to love baseball when he went to my dad's house in Logan. And everything for me in my life once upon a time was baseball. And then just over the years, like now I don't even really watch it. That's weird. Your Logan trip really made me think a lot about baseball and my childhood and all of that stuff. It was weird, man. To your point, uh, my love for baseball has been kind of on my mind lately. Yeah, see? So there you go. So wouldn't you love to be the god of baseball, Jaybird, to go in and fix it? No, I want to be the god of god of pizza. <laughs> okay, and what do you do as the god of pizza? God of pizza, guess what, baby? World hunger is over. We uh -huh. are going to have so many outlets and programs no one, no one's ever going hungry under the god of pizza, my friends. And I, I would make mm. every type of pizza available. We'd explore different kinds of pizzas. So if you don't love pizza, we're going to find a recipe that you do love. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the whole world should have the same right as Americans to be as obese as we are. <laughs> yes, my child. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you had superpowers... Do you think you'd end up being a hero or a villain and why? Oh, and Virginia, what do you want to be the god of? I got to ask you that real quick. I think I want to be the god of travel. Okay, and what does that mean? That means I get to travel everywhere? Gosh, what a weak answer. <laughs> I don't know. What a weak ass <laughs> answer. And I'm the one that's sick. <laughs> I don't have anything that I think I'm like better yeah. than the established Kevin, rules Kevin, of whatever that is. Can we skip over you? <laughs> I had to go back for that bird. Oh my god! Aren't you sad you came back? <laughs> Just keep going. Okay, all right. You lead on this end. If you had superpowers, do you think you'd end up being a hero or a villain, and why, Virginia? Definitely a hero. You're a hero. I could not sleep with myself <laughs> if I was a villain. I would not. Why are you want, laughing, Bird? I would not want to be evil to anybody but Jay Bird. She's adorable. <laughs> what, you're not buying this? I think, I think in her heart she wants to be good, but I don't know, man. A couple couple drinks down her throat, I think the villain comes out. It could be one of those uh, complex criminals, kind of like a Thanos, where he thought he was doing the world a favor, yet he was the villain of the big movie in The yeah. Avengers. I know you don't get that, Virginia, but... I don't even know who you're talking about. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't <laughs> Yeah. I'd hope to be a hero, but uh, you never know. With power comes mm, madness. I don't know. You never know. I think that's the whole thing. I think a lot of times people would always think, Does do even the villains really think that they're villains or do they think they're doing the right thing? Look at your boy Darth Vader, Jay Bird. I think he really thought he was the good guy and doing the right things. And honestly, dog, the more I look into it, the Jedis were a bunch of bitches. I don't know if I trust the Jedis. I'm team Darth, man. What do you think about that, Virginia? Yeah, I think bad people don't realize they're bad people sometimes because it's the human condition to justify your actions. Yeah. And also, you can't, like, think that you're a bad person. Like, you yeah. always have to think the, the best of yourself. Justifying your bad actions, saying, well, this is why I'm really doing it. They even did it with the, the whole Cobra Kai where the, the movies would make you think Johnny from Cobra Kai and Karate Kid is the bad guy. Cobra Kai makes it to where Danny Daniel was the bad guy. It's kind of from a certain, you know, whose perspective are you asking? Mm-hmm. There you go. Complicated question making you think, huh? Yeah. Damn. Ooh, yeah.